Four. Oh. Ready? Five. Time is the only thing that there is absolutely no replacement. As soon as that piece of time has passed, there's no getting it back. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this episode of The Debrief. We've got some really good stuff today. And by we, I mean just Donna and I. Donna looks like she's dozing off. Can you see her? Let's zoom in on there, buddy. She's taking a little nap. That's okay. Missing Justice today. Uh, he always adds a lot of value, so obviously this is going to be, you know, it's going to be tough without him. Love you, Justice. We're going to talk about time management. Now, this right here. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I can't tell you how much my life changed when I started valuing my time and really understood that of all the things in the entire world that have value, time is the only thing that there is absolutely no replacement. As soon as that piece of time has passed, there's no getting it back. People on their deathbeds, what are, what are their greatest regrets? Not being nice to people, not being as kind, and not wasting time. And then the other one was not pursuing the things that they loved to do. They let their dreams die. All right, so time is up there on all the regrets. Wasted time. Well, what does it mean to waste time? Think about the things that you do in your life. What do most people do nowadays? They wake up and they do this and start scrolling. That's what they do. Is that technically wasted time? Be honest with yourself. If the answer is yes, then rethink the first thing you do in the morning. So then after that, what do you do? You make breakfast, you get ready for work, you go to work. On your drive to work, what are you doing? Are you listening to music or are you listening to something that is gonna add value to your life? Maybe you need the music because it puts you in a meditative state. Maybe you need complete peace and quiet for your drive. Then you get to work. How many hours during your eight, let's say eight hour day, how many hours are you being very productive? Are you doing things that are gonna help advance the mission or the goals of the company that you work for or the organization that you work for? How many of those eight hours are you actually doing something that is benefiting the company? I know a lot of people waste a lot of time at work. What are they wasting the time doing? Usually the cell phone, all right? And then at, when you get off work and you come home, what do you do? Do you go straight to the bar? Is that wasted time? Or is that really productive, necessary time that you have to do every fucking day? Do you go to the gym? Do you go home and veg out? Just watch TV, browse on the computer, YouTube. How do you spend your fucking time? And then in your last few hours before bed, what are you doing? Are you watching TV, browsing the phone? What is it that you do with your time? You need to write it down. If you don't write down what you do with your time, then chances are you're probably wasting more of it than you really want to. Let me share a story about myself. My whole life, I have been a disorganized clusterfuck. I got ADHD and I got it bad. My attention was going in a million places. I wasn't able to focus on, on one thing for any significant period of time, even fucking video games. So my entire life, I have been a disorganized, wasteful, unproductive, insecure clusterfuck. Every day has been a fight, has been a struggle to this very day to not be that because that, that was like my hardwiring young. I have tried to design a life for myself where I am not a disorganized clusterfuck. One of the things that I was never really aware of was how much time I wasted growing up. And I would be given an assignment and that assignment was to fill out this worksheet. And that would take me fucking four times longer than it took everybody else. Why? I wasn't focusing on it. I was doing a bunch of other things. And then when my dad would come home from work, when my dad would ask, what did you do with your time? I would always say, ah, uh, I don't know. I was, I, I was trying to get this done. He's like, how the hell did this take you four hours? I, I don't know, dad, it was really hard. This is not hard. All you gotta do is read the fucking book and write what's in the book on here. Uh, I, I, I don't know, dad. He'd be, he'd be, he'd pissed off. It wasn't that I didn't know is that I didn't want to be honest with myself or him about what I actually did with my time. And that right there is probably most people in this entire fucking world. They don't want to be honest with themselves about what they do with their time. Because if they were honest with themselves, they would probably feel shame. They would probably realize that they waste a lot of fucking time. Nobody wants to acknowledge the worst parts of themselves. Nobody wants to own that. So they'll say, oh, I don't know, I'll play dumb. You fucking know what you did with your time, right? I remember try actually trying to think back on Oh, what did I actually do? And this is even into my 30s. What did I actually do? And my brain, it was like, it was fighting to remember. And I think it's because the, the shame sensor was there and it was like, dude, you wasted a lot of time. You don't want to think about that. So it was difficult for me to be honest with myself about what I did with my time. Isn't that fucking shitty? Finally, in my 30s, I became psychotic about tracking what I did with my time and using Google Calendar. 
Google Calendar makes it so incredibly fucking easy for you to not just keep track of your time, but to plan out your day and then get a reminder sent to your phone, comes up on the phone and comes in your email. Hey, don't forget, you gotta do this in one hour, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, five. You can set as many reminders as you want. So there's no excuses for forgetting things. You can put shit in your calendar fucking two years from now. So when I, once I started getting disciplined about what I actually did with my time, then my productivity went <laughs> skyrocketed. So for yourself, first off, you need to be honest with yourself about what you do with your time. And that's what I'd love to see in the comments. It's just write what you did yesterday. Be hella dis detailed. But what you need to do to make sure that you're not wasting time is you need to define what's wasted time. If you go for a bike ride, is that a waste? If you go, you know, shoot hoops, is that a waste? What if you watch your favorite show? Is that a waste? That's where you really gotta think. Is watching your favorite show each night a waste? Maybe it's a YouTube, a podcast, something, some piece of entertainment. Is that wasted time? What about social media? Any time that you spend on Facebook, is that wasted time? You have to define it for you. So that means you gotta ask yourself, why are you doing it? What's in, well, what's in most of our feeds? Well, not mine. I clean my shit up. What's in your feed? Fucking hot chicks, right? Just random fucking stupid shit. You know, friends doing all kinds of things. Is that wasted time or is that you needing to feel connected to your friends? What is it? What's a waste, right? This, this is how specific I think you need to be. You need to say, all right, social media is important to my life because it enables me to stay connected with the people who mean something to me. And it is the best way for me to stay connected to them. But do you need to stay connected to Cardi B? No but maybe she entertains you. Okay, so that's entertainment. So now you're trying to be entertained. How much time do you need to spend staying connected to friends? And who specifically are those friends? Identify the fucking people. It's fucking cousin Bobby, other Bobby, other Bobby, mom, dad, grandma, brother. Those are the people that matter the most. So how much time do you spend interacting with them? Well, if you're scrolling your feed, probably not much. Okay, so these are the people I'm gonna stay connected with. And I think I should spend one hour a day communicating with the people who really mean something to me. And then I sometimes just want to veg out and be entertained. So how much time do I need to be entertained on a daily basis? And what form of entertainment do I really get value from? Is it social media feed following entertainers on social media or is it YouTube or is it watching television? And then you need to further define what pieces of entertainment really fucking move you. Because a lot of people just watch bullshit. You should know why you're watching what you're watching, right? Maybe you love murder mysteries uh, or, or like serial killer documentaries. That seems to be a big thing. Maybe you like, you're feeling alive as you're watching it because it's so exciting and compelling. If that's the case, how many hours a day do you need to feel that emotion? And are you gonna do something with that later or are you just watching it for the hell of it? Or what about sports? I totally forgot about sports. How much time do you need to be entertained by somebody playing a sport? Do you need to watch it for that many hours? No, you want to. Well, there's a million things fucking anybody wants to do. How much of that is wasteful? Think about it. During football season, how many hours a week are you watching football? And at what point does it become excessive? When it comes to things like entertainment, you could just sit there watching the TV all day every day. Is that wasteful? What is the balance? Define it for yourself. All right, so you've got your social media, you've got sports and entertainment, but then maybe we've got spiritual shit. Maybe we've got podcasts. Maybe we've got self-help stuff. Now, is that wasted time? Probably not, but you need to define how it's adding value to your life. Why do I want to watch sports? And how many hours a day should I watch it? And then stick to it because it's too easy to just plop yourself down and the next thing you know, four hours goes by. And you're like, what the fuck did I do? You, you don't even know. Okay, that's wasteful. So you need to define what is wasteful to you and then make an effort to minimize it. Everyone needs to veg out. It, it's, it's, you just gotta let the brain go dead sometimes. Sometimes you don't wanna be alone with your own thoughts. So instead you turn on the fucking television you're drawing out the sound of your own shitty thoughts. Next thing you know, you're sitting there fucking, oh, yeah, yeah. or social media, you know, you know? If people were honest with themselves, they'd probably realize they're on social media for like fucking four hours a day. You really need that? Probably not. So there's wasted time and then there's productive time. Now, what is productive to you? And how many hours a day should you be productive? Well, what is productive to you should be that which brings you closer to your goals. And we already talked about goals. This, this, the, the, all the different categories of goals. It's professional goals, health and fitness goals, personal growth goals, relationship goals, and hobby goals. So if all these things that you want, goals that you want to achieve and work towards, and that just might be detailing this car or rebuilding this car or fixing a motorcycle or actually being on the motorcycle or being on a bicycle, whatever. You got these things that you want to do that you know are good for you. How many hours a day do you put towards them? How many hours a day do you take away from that by doing something that's wasteful? Be aware of the way you spend your time. Write that fucking shit down, put it on the calendar. I try to have an insanely disciplined calendar where I, I keep track of everything that I'm doing on any given day. When you're getting ready, how long do you spend getting ready? 
What about your drive into work? How long does that take? When you got to do a bunch of errands, how long do you spend doing those errands? Do you take three and a half hours to do the errands or could you get them done in one? If you could get the errands done in one, does that mean if it takes four or three and a half hours, does that mean that you wasted two and a half hours? Probably. You have to define this. I'm asking you these questions so that you can ask yourself. And when you start asking yourself these questions, you start realizing, oh man, yeah, I could be more productive. I do waste a lot of time. I do do that a lot. I do veg out a lot. I do watch sports a fucking ton. Think about how you spend your time. If you identify what all your goals are, and then you spend all your time in the direction of your goals, you'll be a very fucking successful and happy person, I promise you. We've been talking about this happiness shit for a long time. Happiness is not a fucking mystery. You don't randomly become happy. You define what happiness is and you work your fucking ass off to make yourself happy. No one else is going to make you happy. You define what you want out of life. You work your fucking ass off to get it. And that is how you find happiness. This one girl I dated for a while, her dream was to be an art teacher in a very nice school district in San Diego. That's it. Just a teacher. It is a huge, huge goal for her. And when she got it, she's one of the happiest fucking people I know. She doesn't make a lot of money, but she loves every second of the fucking day because she loves the students and the parents and the administrators and the campus and the fact that she's in San Diego. Goals on goals on goals. Just to find what makes you happy and work towards that. That usually involves setting all kinds of goals, working towards those goals, minimizing the amount of time that gets wasted and maximizing the amount of time that you can consider productive. You start living your life that way, you're gonna feel that happiness emotion way more than you ever have in your entire fucking life, I promise you. Because you're defining what makes you happy and then you're doing the things that make you happy and designing the life that makes you happy. So you're more happy more often. It's fucking magical. All right, I hope that helped with time management. Thank you for watching. Please put in the comments, what is wasted time for you? I wanna hear it. What is wasted time and what is productive? time. And then, if you're willing to be open about it, how much time do you waste a day? Be honest. The more you own that shit, the more power you have over that shit. And the more power you have to change it, to change your life to be what you want it to be. Okay, yeah, we'll see those things in the comments. Appreciate y'all. Um, I've been reading your comments. They've been great. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Peace, love, and war. Appreciate it!